Hey everybody, welcome to Man Meets Games. I am Human, and this is Keep Up Survival. We are playing this on the channel today. It is a survival game that I found on Steam Early Access. I've got it on sale, and we're going to go to single player. And I got it on sale for half off for $9.99, regular price of $20. It is pretty bare bones at the moment, but it has a decent gameplay feel to it, which I am enjoying. Um, it has AI that will raid you, which I haven't experienced. It was deactivated in the previous version I played. Um, it also has a travel system now implemented via docks that goes from dock to dock, which cuts down travel time immensely, which means I'm going to go to a place I like to build, even though it's a mile and a half away from a resource I need. Uh, there is no gender selection as of yet in single player, but there is in multiplayer to kind of give diversity to the community. And just like every survival game, you're going to want to gather up stuff as quickly as as you can and I'm gonna go ahead and move over a few things as I go because it does not sort the inventory like I appreciate um, collect all the garbage that you see and I'm gonna sh do one thing as soon as I can uh, to get us even more rocking and rolling speaking of rock I need one of those and then we need one of where's the bush there should be a bush Oh, also, there is a hand glider, automatically. Um, utilize it. Just hold Q when jumping off of an item, and you will glide your way to safety. So we're going to go crest, craft up a stone axe. It is one stone and one fiber, which um, it doesn't take a stick, which is a miracle. And then we're going to switch this over to there, put this over to nine, put this over to zero, which this is the building book, which we will get to in a bit. And then I want to chop down a log or two. And I do like playing in the first person better. Uh, this is it's not too terrible in third person, but just my preference to each his own. And get all these resources built up. Go back in a crafting menu. Craft a crossbow. Uh, or a crossbow. Crossbow. And then I'm going to queue up a 20 stack of bolts. Yeah, and then we're going to head out to my favorite location so far. Alright, we are crossbowed up. Okay. Uh, the thumb is in the wrong position, uh, dev guy. I need to get your name. I apologize in advance for the you know the way I'm kind of being rude about it, but I need to, we need to fix that. I know you did the uh, backpack thing, which is still a little small. It's just a teeny bit small so you know you're getting there still early access I get it part of why I like to play it first person so I don't have to look at it okay so just gather 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 can you do anything with that no that's not gatherable um look for all the bits of rubbish you can I'm not gonna walk away from here until I've located everything I need uh, I'm gonna take this but we're gonna Manually move it over. Uh, if you auto sort it, like I said, it will not go where you want it. Take the stone. Uh, move this over to number one. I do like the uh, secondary num keypad thing. That's a neat, neat little idea. Oh, yeah. This is a single developer, by the way. I, I do like the way he does communicate with his fans and he will address any negative comments and concerns that anybody has any time so I do I do like that a lot are these destroyable no uh, they he is about to also have a level up system implemented there we go repair it does use the resources to repair of course but you know might as well just repair the same one all the time uh, I'm not seeing too much more rubbish. I'm gonna go ahead and head across here. Um, bring out the crossbow. I have ran into a bear, which that was interesting. Didn't know bears were a thing until I saw one. That's a direct quote from human. Uh, the human thing I will address real quick. That was my wife's nickname. She always 
called me that and I was trying to re relaunch the channel and I was like, what can I call myself? And we just set settled on the idea of man meets games and kind of went off of that. I am human. I made mistakes, but I also like to game because I went from being a worker to a wanna be YouTuber. So I'm like that old uh, t-shirt, you know, of the first ape evolving all the way through to guy in business suit. Guy in business suit goes to hunched over a computer gaming all the time. Nothing wrong with that. Because I'm also a stay-at-home dad. Which is fun. You gotta take care of a two-year-old boy and he gets to drive me crazy. And the axe does work on stones. Which is nice. And metal. Which I am so happy that this is right here because I'm gonna go rectify the need of that resource pretty quick uh, you can use rubbish to create nails to so you can make your bases but you can get 50 nails per one ingot and you can make ingots relatively fast in this game so I would say hang on to your rubbish for weapon builds and upgrades so we're going ahead this way I always suck at navigation you're, you're gonna learn that real quick um, my wife says it's a problem I just think it's funny uh, get all this rubbish built up. <sighs> Somebody's been smoking way too much. I don't know what assets pack that this game utilizes, but I have seen it quite often, and some may find problems with that. Me, on the other hand, I think it's kind of comforting because I know what to look for. Water bottle. Uh, rubbish. Rubbish. I have played the Infected in case you're all wondering, so that's why I said that. I have played a few other games with this asset set up. Ah, there he is. Okay, so the hitbox is pretty off. I don't recommend firing from an aiming position. It's just easier to get in there. Can't reclaim your arrows, which sucks. But with how early you can get this crossbow it's not that big of a deal and it's pretty cheap to make stuff nothing really in these houses uh, did I check the fridge and, okay so nothing in there glass ah there's one of our friends I'm um, gonna go get him I would like to get the kitty more I would love the kitty kitty cat kitty cat meow 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 but can't so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna meet a nice little puppy dog. Tame him. You're gonna follow me. Problem though, this is why we don't like the... So, alt. X. Z. Go the way. Oh, there it is. Is he on tame again? No, he's not. So, X. There he is again. I don't want to hide him all the time, but I want to hide the menu. But if I swap to my axe, he's going to go to a different selection. Or if I swap to from one to the crossbow, it's going to switch him over to stay there. And if I don't switch back, I'm going to forget him and leave him behind. So we're going to... Oh, Porthos. Yes, that's his name, Porthos. And if anybody gets that, I'm so happy. I don't know about these rats. Uh, they don't really give me anything, I don't think. Yeah, see, they're like immortal. The immortal rats. Oh, that they're dogs. We will keep the beagle, Porthos, for as long as that we can. Also known as uh, until I forget him, uh, leave him behind because <clears throat> the menu keeps switching on me. Uh, how are we doing on the? Yeah, we're doing all right. It's pretty stable right now. He will follow you in pretty. Not too bad. Um, also very useful as a hunting a dog. Although I Let's see if I can get him. Bam. There we go. Go get him. Watch. This is great. Get him, Porthos. Go get him. Get him, Porthos. Get the pig. Get the pig, Porthos. Get the pig. Get him. Eat that pig. Ooh, stone. 
He just does not give up, man. Oh, well, well, at least we're heading to where we need to go anyway. Huh. Take me home, pig. So if you run out of ammunition, and you have the dog, and I would suggest to the developer, please, change this menu system so we can actually utilize the companion. See, look. It switched over to stay there from an attack and follow me command. But please, switch it to where we can utilize all of our assets in the future. Come on, dog. Oh, poor piece. <laughs> Yummy. Pre-tenderized. Okay, so we're at the metal depot. We need to head back, head down a little bit further. Uh, metal spot should be around here. Yeah, should be right around here. Spent so much time up here, you'd think I'd know exactly where I was at. Okay, so... If you want a quick source of metal, this is it. It's dark as crap. <laughs> so I'm going to go into tab, craft, and make one of those. Ah, uh, two of those. I can afford it. And go into inventory, switch that over to three. Port those. Is that a sand torch? No. Ah, god damn it. Where is it? Where's my number three? There we go. And then we will set this up. It's so dang dark. There we go. It's not the greatest light in the world. But it's helpful. And I'll set number three up again. Nope. Why are you growling? You're danger, Ed. There might be a spider in here. I cannot remember. I didn't find it the last time. So anyway, this is where you're going to find your iron. That's beside the point. Everything else is. We're going to go ahead and collect some of what we're here. Before we head down to our camp. And you can... This thing spawned in so quick. It's a rapid respawn. I kind of want him to take it down a notch on the respawn times. Maybe switch it. For, it feels like if you go out of this area. Literally, if you go out of this area long enough and then come back, like, literally a minute. Alright, everything's respawned. And that's cool. That's helpful in the early stages. <gasps> Bear! Stamina. Okay. Ah, that was my help. Oh god. Okay, so <laughs> pro tip: if you can get far enough away from the bear spawn territory, he despawns. But you also notice that one shot from this thing almost took it down to nothing. It was a half health shot. Critical, so headshot. Holy crap. Okay. Freaking bear. Where is it, dog? There's Beagle. Doggo. And we got plenty of stuff on us right now. Uh, okay. So that happened. It's exactly what happened to me the first time. Came running up on a bear. Spawned randomly in. Okay, where is this? It's this way? Jesus. Okay, uh, another thing. Seems like our map marker's off just a smidgen. Maybe. Look where. I was. It... I don't know. I don't know. Just seems a little off to me. Like on an angle. Almost. How's my food? Food is 80, thirst is higher. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Eat a little bit of a mushy. What the? Was that a. Yeah, it was a boar. Okay, see, this is where we're at. Okay. Welcome to our new settlement. Very flat, very bear infested, and deer infested, and piggies everywhere. We also get this little shack. 
it's a nice starter area. You can sleep, set a respawn point, all that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, this is kind of like uh, this taking a safe option for anybody playing this game. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do a stay there, and we're gonna. You're supposed to hold Alt to do that menu, and it, the Alt system doesn't work at all. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen to the dog eventually, but I'm just going to leave it because I'm not going to have that on my screen and then able to utilize all my stuff. Okay, so into the crafting menu we go. We've got a campfire here. We've got a shelter. We do need the stone furnish, so it's going to be 60 stone. Uh, furnace first, so we're going to repair that up and go find some stone to bash. Uh, always something to do in these games. First auto save, so that's a good 15 minute marker. Also, a uh, little perk about this game if you're swimming, you also absorb the water through your skin, so you don't have to worry about water too hardcore. Um, I'm also going to show you a trick unless he's fixed that problem. On quick, easy, twofold food and supplies for building, and that's these berry bushes. Right over here, I think. Berry bush? No, nope, not berry bush. Where are they? There should be a couple berry bushes floating around. There's one. Maybe one right there too. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Just whack, whack, whack this thing. Hang on. Let me repair that before we keep whacking. Okay. Whack. This tree will keep you alive for a week. Don't eat the blackberries. Okay, and I'm not kidding. Uh, there's 16 blueberries. That doesn't seem like a lot, but with a raspberry shot, which I'm going to keep over here because I'm going to hit another one of these up real quick. Because I usually just survive on uh, berries alone in this game. It's almost like Ark. Alright. How are we doing? Eh, still got a little bit of time. We're, we're not going to be able to get a shelter built on this one. Uh, straight up. It, eh, it might. It just takes so many resources straight off the bat. And I didn't hit up any of this stuff yet. I'm literally just trying to get myself a uh, miner established. Let me see if there's an easier place to build. Uh, I want to build this furnace real quick. Also, look. We're up to... 20 more of those, so that's 36 blueberries, light snack. Gives you five hunger and one thirst. I like the, that these can kind of go together too. So, um, at 71, so we're gonna nosh down all these raspberries real quick. And 86, so there you go. Um, pretty simple, love it. Makes it real easy. So we're gonna build this furnace real quick. Can't, no, not the campfire. Oh, I just built our own thing. It's fine. We're all good. I'm going to go ahead and move camp away from that anyway. It's a good safe point to start, but I built there and all my little extras, and it just did not work out. I didn't like it at all. So we're going to go ahead and place a couple of these things. Like that. Three. It's also going to help us find where we can place. I don't understand. Is it a distance draw? There we go. I, that's another thing that needs to be kind of worked for. So we're going to name you. I thought you said you could name it. We're going to move some logs. Oh, no, wait. Let's keep the logs on us. Where does the stone furnace go? Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, so we're going to go... Stupid stuff happens like that all the time. Like, for some reason... Uh, the can it'll get cancelled or I'll move and it'll completely like last time example I, I built a shotgun shotgun went into my inventory right no it didn't but it was in my hand and I could swap over to it but I could not access it explain that one to me and then I've seen some bunny evidence of bunny weirdness I think it's all possessed all right, stone furnace this time and then growing in there, it should go into my inventory. 
five, four, three, two, one. There it is. Okay, now we got it. Bam. Taken care of. So I guess the same place it that way. Let's see what is with this. So F hold. Nothing happens. Ah, there we go. It's fine. It's, it's it's okay. So we're gonna interact with that now and move over this raw metal. What's cool is it'll it'll if you have like a twenty or a full stack of raw metal. Uh, several 99 99 99 it'll keep it'll do all the stacks at once and it'll stack each one i need to turn on my uh cross uh, my cursor so you can see everything i'm pointing at uh i did not think of that and i will remedy that in the future so what i'm going to do is go ahead and get this started get it going i'm gonna have to go get a lot more wood can i repair you no what do i need to repair you <sighs> the same thing i need logs all right let me get that repaired up before. There we go. Mm -hmm. What the heck was this? Okay, we're gonna not worry about the noise that was just made. Move that over. And I do not recommend keeping those berries around and then cook up you can actually just call all of this food so move that over and move that over knock out a little bit more tree and repeat just like every survival game we've all played and we all love just whack the tree and repeat until you have a palace you know, we need to name this land. I know this map's probably got a name. I'm probably being disrespectful to the creator of the map. But as a Firefly fan, this will be called this land from now on to me. So this land is my land. And curse your sudden but never betrayal. Okay. What we got? We got one going. So what we're trying to accomplish now is that we have the furnace. We need our complex. I want the tools. I need six of those iron bars to create the tool bench, which our rubbish amount is at 30, which is pretty low. So it's uh, now that we got that stuff kind of going, uh, I don't think the wait, does the food burn? Please tell me the food doesn't burn. I could just leave it if it didn't burn. Uh, yeah, frick, if it burns, it's no big deal. I've got the berries of destiny on me. We'll be fine. Yeah, we're at 23 minutes. It's pretty, going pretty good. Uh, I don't need stones right off the bat. i got that. We'll go meet the, the ferryman. And like I said, there are NPC um, interactions that can happen. I'm not going to purposefully engage into any combat with anybody. If I don't need to. I'm not calling myself a... You know, pansy, but why if I don't got to, you know? Live with your neighbors peacefully. I'm here to build up. They're here to survive, too. Uh, they're going to be ferrying me across here. Just let's treat them with respect here. Until they come after us, and then we're just going to end their day. We'll ruin them, okay? We'll rectify the problem. Oh, I'll put a tin out. That'll look nice. Another I don't want flashlights. What I want is this. Okay, so we got that. Moving out here. Rubbish. And more rubbish. And more rubbish. There's probably a lot more. Up here. Yeah, there's more stuff over here. So this is uh, in preparation for a couple of like extra builds. Um, a little fast on the build, actually. I'm going to go for the better axe and a couple other things because I'm not going to play around with this stupid little dinky axe. Uh, this is Bob. Bob takes you over to the sulfur port. Um, 
Very handy to know. I don't know where Jack and Frank take you to yet. Jack's the one in blue. Frank's the white guy. I kind of think he's on the uh, fence. Yeah, I'm not, I don't trust him, man. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to go over here real quick. Uh, we don't need their uh, um, services just yet. Uh, not, not a concern at this time. I've got ammunition in the form of crossbow. Don't need the sulfur for anything but ammunition, I think. Rubbish. Guess this would be the iron fragment equivalent uh, in yeah, in the effect. I feel like there's something should be there. Uh, he's really he keeps working on this map. It's not a hundred percent complete map, but but you do get a lot for your money at the start, especially if you got it on that cell. But you go. I've been a uh, mile and a half out, which is the sulfur deposit over here. And I've been down to the Mine Works Village and the Ruins area. I haven't been down this far yet, and I've been, of course, up here since I was already up here. But anyway, it's a pretty fun map to explore, and I do like the uh, crossbow quite a bit, honestly. The guns I used were the... Sh I don't think I used a shotgun, because I couldn't figure out what kind of shotgun I was holding, and therefore couldn't make the uh, magazine for it. Oh, we're one shy. So we're just going to shut that off. Make a quick run up there real quick. Um, did we burn? No, we didn't burn. It automatically kicks it back out as cooked. That is good to know. Let's go ahead and eat that heart. Yummy. Okay. And the mine is straight up here, so I'm just going to run in a straight line, straight for... How many times can I say that word? Head right onto the mine. No, we don't need food. We're not going to go over abundance with that crud right off the bat. Go ahead and take a full drink of water. Okay. Uh, deer everywhere. I mean, it's not like we're going to starve. There's... Not a sense of urgency on the starvation of this game. Or the... Pig! Excuse you. Ah, oh, that bear's over there now. No, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's where the mine is. Right up and over. Okay, bear. You're gonna face the fury. That is me. And my crossbow. Because I need metal. Bear... I need high ground. Bear. Hair pops right in. Okay, that that is good of crap out of me, not gonna lie. Reload. Reload. Headshot! Alright. Alright, there we go. Now now. I wish I could turn my camera around. Okay. Nope. There we go. There's our kill. Don't necessarily need the meat. But we're going to eat him. That's dinner later. All because he was in my way. No, I need to fix that. Yep. Uh, what do I need? A woodlock. I... Always with the woodlock. I should always know it's the woodlock. Look at that. There we go. Can't wait to get the other stuff. Let's get back in the first person. So crossbow is OP. Honestly, I love it. There we go. I like magic. It's back. I'm gonna go ahead and head a little bit further in. Uh, since I, I might actually have enough to build another torch. Yeah. Uh, two more torches. Okay. Yeah. One more torch. Does it? That work? So put that over in the three. Break this down one more time. And we all get to fill the excitement of gathering with human. I don't know why the dog was growling earlier in here. I didn't run into a spider last time. Doubt there's one. These torches are infinite. And I love it.
I, I can't explain why I like this game 100%. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it yet, and I usually don't like AI attacking me, so I'm not really looking forward to that aspect. So, I don't understand why I like it, but it is a fun game to play nonetheless, and I'm not going to go ahead and I'm just going to move on because I need to melt this down and get going. I don't have much time left on my set. I'm already at 30 minutes. But what I I just like a little bit of everything about it. I like just a little bit of the freedom, a little bit of the the building, a little bit of the crafting, a little bit of the combat with the bear. And you know, I just like a little bit of everything about it. The survival aspects are also not too harsh. And I know I'm probably going to shoot myself in the foot because he's going to find this and be like, "I'm going to make it harder than you know." It, it's there's see you know, that's my 15 minute murder. So, God, is that a bear chasing me? Or is that a boar in there again? But anyway. It's enough to make me go, I like this. Oh, wait, that's already... Oh, my God, I'm dumb. Okay. Repair. I'm going to need a log. So, I do already like this game and can see some potential in it to be something great. Um, I maybe take... Like I said, add a couple more customization features, which you can find clothing, or I can also... Is that... Oh, it's a pig. I can also create clothing, and that'll uh, help customize me a little bit, but, I mean, character customization is usually big in these games anyway, so maybe going a minimalistic style might actually be to its favor. Uh, in co-op, male or female, plus different wigs and different clothing. Yeah, it could work. I just don't play co-op. I just, like... I'm a single player, so it is what it is. It's a fun game, and we all want to find something new and entertaining for us. And this one's been pretty on the mark for me. I haven't put enough time in it to find every little detail out to find out what the enemies are like to build me a big base, but I do know that it is being built by a guy who likes, it, who loves his job, who loves his vision. I mean, that's a pretty decent shot right there. That's screenshot shot worthy. Ruined by a pig! Jesus. Okay, he's over that way. I'll, I'll kill him later. But he has a lot of love for what he's doing, and it shows. It shows. He, this update was pretty large, so... I'm gonna, not going to be surprised if I missed a few things here or there on, on what is new versus what I played. Yeah, 99. All right, that gives me one more. I need one more, and I can work on that. Uh, that was going to be the tools. Which I just need those six iron bars. Now, the reason why... Hey, they're mating. Yes, there is breeding in here. Uh, the reason why I'm trying to get the tool bench first is so I can actually build a flipping home. Because right now I can't build nothing. Except for a campfire. Let me put that tent out. It may make me feel better. Nice little homestead tent. Oh, God. It's doing the thing in. There we go. Let's do it like that. I want it on a tilt. There. there. Homestead. Yeah. yeah! Please fix that. Uh, guard of this game. I would like that to work properly. There we go. There we go. Six. And go into craft. Tools. Get out of that. Let it run. So, uh, where's my dog? Oh, there he is. There we go. Respawn is that. Okay, I should be done now. Uh, move this over here. And I'm going to place you right next to the tent. It's like if I'm too close, my hitbox interferes, and it just does. 
<sighs> Fast clicks. Okay. And now, I want to make... Let's see. I want to make the hammer, which is going to be log nails iron bar. Pickaxe, log nails iron bar, log nails iron bar. You see what I'm getting at here? Log nails iron bar. Come on, dog. Let's go find some logs. Nails is easy. Got that running right now, and I'm very going. Just need the logs. This is gonna make my life easier, and literally within the first 35 minutes, I'm already to the point of making metal tools. Which is nice. And you notice that level one, he's about to implement a uh, leveling system, which is going to be neat. I hope. And then I just need the iron bars, which are two there, and that's going to make the nails for me. Put that go into crafting, and then nails. I just need one. See what I can make here. Just the two nails right now. And that should be done in eight seconds. There we go. 50 nails. And then I'm going to make my hammer first. Like, the. I've seen a lot of people play this game, and it took them. I literally didn't see anybody make the wood the wood axe or the or the the metal axe, the metal pickaxe, the hammer. I didn't even see anybody do that. They, they didn't give it enough time to develop and play it to figure it out. So to see a few of the things I am seeing while playing myself, it's kinda nice. It's first hand experience. Let's see here. And now we're gonna make the axe axe. Wait, was well, it need two iron bars? One more iron bar. Just the wood axe ones. I don't want that. I want you. And then we'll get a pickaxe next, and I think that's an episode. We got a tent. We got a nice little chopping utility. We're about to have a nice. Ah, this is nice. This is real nice. I'm um, actually gonna. Drop you onto the ground like that. Well, I actually can't do that. How about this? Flop. Yep. There we go. All right. Run with that in my face and enjoy. The oh yes. Oh, this is heaven. So much wood, so much faster. Look at that. Look at that. Just mm, beautiful. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Uh, one of those. Oops. Nope. Cancel. Okay, so you screw up like I just did. Go over to the item and then right click with your mouse and that'll uh, cancel out the craft. Oh, that's some neat, neat stuff to new. Alright. And then the pickaxe. So that's at 40 minutes. We are fully decked out for an adventure, which is nice, and this is how I usually like it. Wait, yeah, axe, pickaxe, crossbow, so it's going to be my cr crafting gathering and then my ghillie, and then this stuff is usually my build stuff anyway, health. So I'm going to show you the build stuff real quick, so let's go to zero, go to Q. Q, F, yeah. So, let's drop one foundation here real quick. Uh, see, I kind of want to build it out right here. Lower it down a smidgen. I don't want it too tall, but I do want it to kind of, yeah. And that's it. That's that's the building in this. It's really nice and. Probably just need to. Let's get a foundation up and get out of here. So, you know, thank you guys for 
watching, and I will be back with some more Keep Up Survival, and I'm enjoying it. So thank you all so much, and let's get to uh, let's get to it. Uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, y'all.